Hey, my name is Christoph Schwartz and I work at Presales with Click. I am a fan of Picasso since I first saw it at Connections 2017. Since then, I was waiting for it to be released and I wanted to make use of Picasso GS within the ClickSense extension. I did some research how to easily make this possible and as a result, here is a series of YouTube videos for you. Enjoy! So thank you for downloading the GitHub package. You can find it here. Download the zip. Once you get it, you open it, hit copy and then you go to documents, click sense extensions, right click and paste it. After that, launch your click sense desktop and then click on DevHub. The DevHub will open in the browser and it will show you new Picasso as an extension. Then right click and press duplicate and we call this a Picasso area stacked chart. So um, we can now simply give it a try. If that extension already works, um, open click desktop again, open the explorer where you pasted the extension and there is also a QVF file. Drag it and drop it, drop it over ClickSense desktop so that it opens it and you should be able to see Hello Picasso here. If it gives you something like a red frame, like here, invalid uh, visualization, then you have an issue with reaching Picasso. So this is set to work out of the box without NPM install. So as a next step, let's go back and get a better chart in place of the hello world simple function because this is what it says components text hello picasso so let's put as we said uh, a sample area range so i press ctrl a to copy the whole stuff press ctrl x press on the second tab again ctrl a blank it out and paste what I have in clipboard. So this time the definition is much longer and it should do something with two dimensions, a month, year and sales. So I save this, go back to my app, into working mode and let's try to get this second page where it says stacked area chart and put now the Picasso stacked chart in place of the first. Now um, I should get year and month and some sales and there we go. So this is the Picasso extension working out of the new code. So um, the next thing I really strongly recommend to do is to use NPM. It renders out of the box. I'll show you quickly the reason why. In fact, it's because of this. It's getting the pre-installed Picasso Min.js, which ships with uh, a subfolder somewhere on your C program data, resources, assets, external Picasso and so on. So uh, what we should do is uh, to run npm install. For npm install and as well as an instruction on how to grab new code from Picasso.js and stuff it into a quick sand extension, watch for my next video. <laughs>